Okay, first stop here. First stop for us is to uh, create the test. Okay, so we open our text editor. Okay, why don't we just cut and paste the stuff here from the previous code that we did? Paste it here. <coughs> okay, so let's uh, remove this. So let's name our test a property. So name it test password complexity. And then I name this as well. Test password complexity. Okay. And then let's save it. Save as test password complexity. Okay, so we get a nice syntax highlighting. Okay, so what do we test first? We're writing test code first. We're not writing code first. Okay. So, we make clear our intention. Let's say, at the very, usually I start with the creation of the object. So, very simple task. It helps me get going. Okay, so let's say I function test create object. Okay, and I say, um, complexity. <coughs> Was new password complexity. Okay, so take note this password complexity class doesn't exist yet. And then I this assert not null complexity just to make sure that it's not uh, not I first created. Of course, it has to be not null. Okay. So let's run this test. Local host test password complexity PHP. Well, okay. Fatal error. Class password complexity is not found. Of course, we haven't written the code yet for that. So let's <coughs> create a blank test. Uh, blank code for that. Class password complexity. Function password complexity. Okay, it's so very simple. Let's just name it password complexity PHP. Okay, run the test. Of course, we didn't include it. Okay, okay, sorry. Okay, so require one password complexity PHP. Okay, so that should take care of the code. Oh, what's happening? Oh, of course. We did the PHP. <laughs> See? Nice, we can have PHP to, I mean, our unit testing to catch that error. There, okay, finally we're green. Okay, so it's green. We can start with another test. Okay, uh, pardon that stupid error right there. Okay, so let's say our password complexity class will have um, a default state, the setting, a minimum number of characters to expect in the password, and then a minimum number of digits, minimum number of symbols. Okay, so. Let's create another test for that. Before we set the uh, attack the actual class, we test default setting. Okay. So again, complexity equals new password complexity. And then we assert the default setting. This assert equal okay, to 8 complexity minimum length. Is assert equal to a minimum two digits, and then say minimum one symbol or non non alphanumeric character. Um, minimum symbol. Okay, so run the test. all these errors 
Okay? So, because integer 8 differs from null, obviously we don't have those properties right here. So we have uh, errors. I'm using PHP file, by the way. Okay, so let's declare those. We know length and digits, we know symbol. So if you do that with PHP, use var. Minimum digits. Oh, minimum length. Minimum length. And minimum symbol. Okay. And then let's initialize them. Length equal 8. Minimum digits equal 2. Minimum symbol plus 1. Again. Oh, still red. Okay. So maybe you know the problem here. Basically, when you're accessing um, <coughs> uh, instance variables in PHP, you should depend the diff before those. You don't just access the variable name. You put in this. It's an annoyance because if you're used to doing things. The C plus plus or Java or C sharp way, and with PHP it's kind of different. So this is a common error for those uh, programmers to shift from uh, other languages to PHP. Okay, let's run it again. Finally, it's green. Four passes. Ah, yes, that's real good. Huh? Okay. So what's next? Okay, let's try. It should be testing um best acceptable password. So let's say complexity again plus new password plus 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 and then uh, this third ball okay um, complexity is met for say um, ABC okay what does this mean it means that this is met for method will check the password, applied password tree, and give us true or false depending on whether it is acceptable or not based on the settings. You know, obviously this password is not acceptable, three characters only instead of eight. Okay, so run the test if you see that. Okay, error. No, is met for. Okay, so let's implement something. False cut through. Okay, so okay, so yeah, false, false. 